and welcome back. I'm tired. I have been, once again, shocker of the century, partaking in a little bit of wine. This evening we are drinking the Vice Vineyards Vinzer Select Riesling A. I was wearing a hoodie by them, actually. I don't know how many reactions ago. I didn't drink this whole bottle this evening. I, <laughs> it was already open. Similar to the last bottle, there was only like this much left. It is now in my wine glass, which is actually the same wine glass, which is actually kind of disgusting, but. <laughs> Moving on, I'm wearing my um, Ilvermorny shirt. I am in the Horned Serpent. Horned Serpent. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, what house are you in in Ilvermorny? What house are you in in Hogwarts? I am a Ravenclaw, um, which from what I understand, the Horned Serpent is kind of the equivalent to the Ravenclaw. To Ravenclaw is the Ravenclaw of Ilvermorny, but I kind of like it because when I first got sorted, I actually had gotten sorted into, um, for Hogwarts, into Slytherin. And I was a proud Slytherin for the longest time, but I got, I got sorted pretty young and I, you know, you change as you grow. And <laughs> whenever Pottermore got all redone or, or something, I don't remember, I mean, Pottermore has been redone, I don't even know how many times, I got resorted into Ravenclaw. And ever since then, anytime I try to sort myself, it's always Ravenclaw. So I'm a proud Ravenclaw, but I like that Horned Serpent is kind of like a little homage to past Slither and Becca. Anywho. <laughs> Today we are watching the Gymnastics Samurai. From what I understand, this is about a samurai that needs to retire or a gymnast that needs to retire. And either the samurai retires as a gymnast or the gymnast retires as a samurai. I'm not really sure which one it is. So let's just get started and figure it out. So it appears he is a gymnast. <laughs> so maybe he retires as a samurai. Is that what that is that what happens? Yikes! <laughs> Eep. Ow. Hello? <laughs> okay. He's like, he didn't die, did he? like a bad breakup. <laughs> like the one member is like, no, we can make it work. And the other one's like, no, no, we cannot. <laughs> it's sad to watch. <laughs> His ringtone is catchy. <laughs> Thank you. 
He's been trying to get him to retire for years, but Joe's Joe is just an idiot and doesn't quite understand him being delicate. That child is on a stool. I heart ninja is what her apron says. It's a weird looking bird, also. It doesn't seem like she was on a stool. She's just a tall child. And that bird is ravenous. It's a huge bird, though, right? I feel like I'm not supposed to be. Like, the takeaway of this scene is not the bird, but. It's a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine o'clock. My shoulder's not okay. Thank you for asking. My shoulder's still messed up. As I mentioned previously, we think it is more than just a pulled muscle. I don't think it's a torn muscle because those don't really like get better, right? It's just something. I think it's just more than a pull or more than a strain. Ada Wonderland. I've been looking at Ada Wonderland lately, actually. Um, is it the same one? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a place. Let me look it up. I'm curious now. Ada. Does he become a samurai at Ada Wonderland? I thought he was becoming like a real samurai. Oh boy. Okay, so Ada Wonderland is in Nico, which is north of Tokyo and like I had looked at going to Edo Wonderland when I go to Japan but then I was like you know what I'm going to Kyoto do I need to go to Edo Wonderland I'm still 50 50 on that because part of me is like yo I kind of just want to be the touristy of tourists and just go and just do it and be like unabashedly touristy because like in Kyoto, if you see a geisha, it's kind of disrespectful to just like stalk them <laughs> and be like, oh look, a geisha, because they're humans. Like, yes, that's like they're in costume, but that is that is their actual profession. But if you like run into someone in Edo Wonderland in costume or dressed up, it's like, that's literally the intention is to be stalked by tourists. Am I, is that okay? I don't know. You can see ninjas in Edo Wonderland. He becomes a samurai in Edo Wonderland, doesn't he? Like, look at how these people are moving. He's 100% like, yes, I'm gonna be a samurai. This is what he's doing. 100%. I'm actually a lot more into this than I thought I would be. But if this guy works in Edo Wonderland in this anime, <laughs> I'm gonna need to go to Edo Wonderland in Japan. I'm gonna have to add a few days on to my Japan trip. Rats. 
Bye, Ninja. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear it because I'll probably turn the volume down, but the music in this is very epic. Eep. <laughs> Fell on the ground. Are you like actually hurt, little ninja? What's happening? Does he think that he's in costume? Is that what this is? fishy here like I think people think it's a show but I think something's actually wrong you went on your honeymoon there though I went to Hawaii <laughs> no big deal Okay, so this person's like maybe a real ninja. Okay, it's the same place. Kinugawa Onsen Travel, colon, Edo Wonderland, Nico Edomura. Okay, just check. So do they live in, where do they live? Do they live in Tokyo? On the outskirts of Tokyo in a traditional home? <laughs> With a big ass bird? His name is Big Bird. Why is this, okay. Send you back to South America. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard those words uttered. Not by myself and not by anyone I love. Do you think the ninja knows that water is like Ninja in the bath. What? <laughs> valid, <laughs> valid response. Isn't this the ninja that was at Ada Wonderland? figure out what's going on with this ninja pretty quick. where this guy's from what country are you from if you're not from Japan does it matter I guess not but they're making such a big deal out of him not being from Japan
so basically this guy is just the weeb for ninjas <laughs> and wants to be a ninja <laughs> and refuses to leave Japan so he can be a ninja. I, I feel him on a spiritual level. <laughs> the ceiling. I do feel him on a spiritual level. I don't know what I would want to be, but I'm sure I'll find something that I can only be in Japan that will make me not want to leave Japan. Who is this guy? Yeah, same, me neither, bud. This is why you're not supposed, you're not gonna be a coach. The ninja's here. So I am quickly starting to realize that Jochiro is not in fact retiring from gymnastics to be a samurai, but he is retiring from gymnastics. But while he was not retired from gymnastics, he looked like a samurai. So he is the gymnastics, gymnastic samurai. But because he looks like a samurai, this ninja fella has sympathized towards him and asked him for help. But now that the ninja is being a ninja, Jotaro is like, I'm gonna coach this ninja. But it appears that this ninja is not a fella, it's a she fella, which is still fine. But I don't know why I was under the perception that Jotaro was retiring to be a samurai. Maybe I misread something somewhere, but it looks like he's retiring to be a coach. Not he was just wearing a, a sports bra. I mean, that's fine. Where would you want? Whatever, <laughs> I don't care. I'm just confused by the clarity because Japan doesn't seem like the kind of country that's like, where would you want? Identify how you want. So, I'm just surprised and confused, I guess. B 
baby. Instead of Big Bird. in the doorway. I don't know what it is, but it was creepy. Not? <laughs> I was expecting him to announce that he was going to retire as a competitive gymnast, but then was going to be a coach. Um, but we'll see what happens. I fully expect that to happen and for Jojo to decide to be the coach of the um, ninja. I don't remember the said ninja's name. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. But overall, I really liked this anime. Um, I thought it was cute. It's kind of funny, actually. Um, interesting, different, not like anything I've ever seen before. The animation is pretty cool, um, but I like that it's not over the top. It feels a little old school with the animation, which I kind of enjoy. Um, but yeah, that's really kind of all I have to say about it. If you watched the first episode of The Gymnastic Samurai, let me know what you thought, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.